Hello and welcome to the Dungeons of Eternity feature showcase. I'm here with Quaker X, uh, one of the developers and uh, I guess like the social face for Dungeons of Eternity for Other Gate, the team itself. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do a run. Sounds Quaker. good. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. Looking forward to this. Me too. Me too. There's a really big feature that we're adding to this to this up this next update. Okay. And that's the arachnophobia mode. Sweet. So that's been a highly requested feature for a long time, and we've thought about all the different ways we can implement something like this, from swapping the spiders to maybe blobs, or, you know, we've seen other games do, like, a, a sprite or <laughs> a pixel spider. Yeah. We come up with a new creature altogether that looks, you know, definitely more friendly than a spider, um, still has the same animations. We've replaced both the small spiders which jump at your face and yeah. are very creepy crawly guys. And then we also replace the giant spiders as well. That awesome. You occasionally encounter. So a lot of spiders in underworld for those, you know, who don't like to play with spiders or yet underworld and, and lava forge, right? Or is it correct? Okay, cool. Correct. So sandstorm and vial halls don't have any spiders, right? They just have um, slimes and, and bugs, <laughs> other bugs, yep. not spider bugs. That's yeah. right. That's cool. right. Scorpions, Scorpions in sandstorm. Yeah. Yep. So Some this wasps, won't replace the but... scorpions. Cool. So, but yeah, we can go to go to settings, quick yep. menu uh -huh. on your left controller, and then go to visuals, visuals, and just enable it. All right. Yeah, I already had it enabled, but I'll show it's disabled right there with the red, and then enabled with the green. So perfect. One thing to note is that you can't change it while you're in a dungeon, so you'll have mm. to be in the main menu or in the lobby to Good make to that change. And that's just because we need to reload the, the models and things like that. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. Good to you know. set it in here, you're good to go. I am good to go. Awesome. Let's get to it then. So what What are the other... We've got the spiders. Obviously, Obviously we're going to run, run into, into spiders. spiders. But there's, is there any, uh, any other stuff that, that we're going to see, cool stuff in this particular dungeon? Well, you know, I'll be honest, this next update is going to be a, sm a smaller one. And that was part of that was because we have a ton of new things we're working on and we had to, we wanted to get something out sooner than later, but some of these other features just require more testing and, and feedback as well, yep. and iteration. So we've trimmed it back. We have arachnophobia mode. We have an update to one of the chests in the game, which you will we may come across and there's some other quality of life improvements bug fixes there's some balancing with like the bomb damage you have a crossbow oh. in your back we adjusted some of the right right the and i forgot to effect. i forgot to get a bomb i was gonna <laughs> i was gonna yeah, like craft some bombs, bombs so we could so test, test that, that out, out but i guess, I guess maybe, maybe i'll maybe find I'll some find in some, some chests chest, so should be good there well then with the next dungeon run we'll load up on bombs and and see how far we get there. okay cool yeah oh um, bomb only level <laughs> right, right. I think I do notice that this uh, the scope is working a little better because I I never I never use the scope. Um, yeah, I usually just like hip aim or whatever that's called. Just yeah, but <laughs> but now I I think is that yeah. Hold it up with your with both hands. With both hands, okay. Like actually grip. There you onto go, it. and see if aiming through the reticle feels any different. To you. I found it, it feels... to be a lot more comfortable. I didn't have to tilt my head as as far. Yeah, yeah, no, it feels great. I, I think that is a because I I do hear people complain about that that don't just naturally aim like this and yeah. So now that they've got that, that should be a that should be huge for them, especially um, if they're afraid of spiders as well. This update will be great. <laughs> you don't want to miss that shot, right? Line it up, <laughs> take out the spider. Exactly, especially if you only got one shot. I happen to have eight right. shots here, but. But not everyone's gonna have eight shots. <laughs> nope. So. Not yet. <laughs> All right. Cool. Let's let's do this. Ooh, get exploded right off the bat. So I actually find this to be the hardest realm. Oh, uh -oh. because of that. Okay. Oh, I didn't make revive yeah, potions. That was good timing. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Really. Forgot to make my revive. Oh, well. uh -oh. Okay. 84. I should be good. Sweet. Okay. 
Nice job. Thank you. Oh, here almost. we go. Ooh. Oh, yes. He sweet. is a very fast little cute spider. Oh, he is so cute. Oh, my gosh. Definitely a spider. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. That's like... Wow. Basically... Basically a slime. But, uh... Yeah, he's a lot like a slime. Yeah, yeah. But they're cuter than a slime, I guess. <laughs> cuter in my opinion, yeah. But, uh... No, that's... That is awesome. Yeah, they remind me of, like, these giant stuffed animals or something. Oh, yeah. Giant, well, slimy stuffed animals, I guess. Sure. I don't know. <laughs> Not much in there. Do, and do they look significantly different if they don't have, uh, like, if we weren't in Tier 7, would they look significantly different in Tier 1? It's mostly just, like, color changes. Okay. Got it. They they come in slightly different sizes. The yeah. earliest tier is, like, they're a little smaller. And they just kind of get a little bigger, but okay. uh, so yeah, we may come across ones that will freeze us, and they're they're exactly like the regular spiders in the game. Even the large ones will still shoot webs and everything. So. Okay, yeah, I guess I didn't really see the attack animation there. Was he like swinging at you, or like the spiders will just kind of reach with their front yeah. limbs, and and this... that's how this guy does. Okay, yeah, yeah, I saw those two little feet. Those are <laughs> so I yeah. guess yeah, that's what they'll use. <laughs> but sweet, sweet, I like how it turned out. It's yeah. They're, all, they're, they're almost like a whole new enemy. Even if you don't need the mode, you could turn it on and, and kind of play around with something that looks a little different. Just yeah. Cool. Yeah. No, that is awesome. I, I love the design. Yeah. Oh, nice Ooh. walk in. Oh, there you oh. go. Nice. Big one. Oh, but they shoot stuff. Right. That's even scarier. Oh, my God. So we got to actually kill this. <laughs> Big guys. Yeah, it's, I, I guess it's <laughs> kind of weird watching... Uh, <laughs> webs come out of these, these slime looking yeah. creatures. But, oh man, that's awesome. Yeah, I still gotta see one of these guys attack. I didn't really pay attention to that. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll try to aim it a little bit better and uh, see see if I can take use of this new aim feature. Yeah, see if it works out. Yeah. Oh man, no, really? Cause yeah, before I could, when when I did try to aim like this with two hands and looking through the scope, it did not feel natural. Yeah, I did. Like you were saying, I kind of had to wiggle to make it in my yeah, field or of vision. Yeah, crane your neck to kind of get it lined up too far. Yeah. Like far enough to where you could use it. I felt. Like it's like funny though, right I'm I'm using like <laughs> I'm recording on my left eye, so and I I look through the bow with my right eye, so right or through the scope. So in this recording, it'll probably be weird <laughs> because <laughs> switch to the other hand. <laughs> oh man, that's gonna be tough. Try that. I've got zero muscle Just to see memory if it looks of, any different. of this. I think it. I think it's mostly the same. I think I'm just more awkward with this. So yeah. Cause, uh, yeah, it's just not natural for me. Oh, oh! I was also closing the wrong eye. That's obviously not gonna work. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No. It. It feels better with this. I think too. Not quite as good as my right hand, just because I'm used to that. But that works. And, and so there is a feature that we are working on though that will yep. be helpful in that sense, to okay. where you'll be able to store potions in your player room oh sweet so that you know you can leave the or if you want to store the power gems if you're more of a you know yeah magic staff user and you want to store those because right now you don't get to keep them yeah or you can't you know fabricate them so you'll be able to keep those in your room and so if you want to load up on resurrection potions or you know potions you haven't unlocked through the, the right. fabricator that's a good way to keep those around that is huge so that's a new feature coming that i don't huge, think it's going to yeah. be in the next it might be in the next one. It may not, though. So okay, yeah. No, but eventually, yeah, we'll see it, and that's yeah. that's exciting. It's in the works. Yep, it's definitely in the works. It's yes. in the game. <laughs> Silence those people who keep requesting, because I feel like everybody, that's like their first thing that they ask is like, when can I, I store these things? I and know. Yeah, no, it's it's really good to know as a player myself that like, that's coming, and and hopefully this spreads and people are aware of it, and then once it comes out, that's going to be huge, and I'm sure people are going to love it. So. Yeah, those little features are really nice to have. You know, they they improve the the quality and experience of the game. Yeah, 
there's they're not terribly hard to implement it's just all right there's user interface work there are models there's networking there are, it takes it takes everyone on the team our small team to implement even a small feature like that right that seems trivial but it's it takes away from other larger features we might be working on so yep it's all important we see it that way yep it's dividing it up and figuring out how to implement. yeah you gotta have that good balance between the content and the yeah. like i guess features content and features are those different like would you consider those to be different things or the, they're, they're kind overlap, of the same, but yeah. they overlap, you know, because right. certain, you know, a new enemy is could be considered a new feature in a lot of ways, or a new weapon type. You add long swords, and yeah. then you can play the game differently. We add some other new weapon type, then it's sure. going to make the game a lot different. So, yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, yeah all a balancing yeah. act is what it seems like so. for sure. And you know, business wise, it's which one is going to. We have to weigh those things, unfortunately, too. You know, yeah. we have to weigh you know decisions on our time and effort into features that we want to improve the game for existing users, but also we want to bring in new players. Yep. So yep. that's where a lot of the decision comes down as well as this going to bring in new players or interest new people. Right. That's, that's fair. fair. That's, that's awesome. awesome. Oh, yes. That's perfect. Okay. So we do have, okay. Let's, let's see what we get. And, Hopefully. uh, Oh boy. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. I guess oh, this is the perfect room to show this off to. So. Yeah. Here, let's is... don't kill him yet. Don't kill him? Okay. Just get killed by Watch him. This. Or... He's oh. got a new attack. Oh, yeah. I did see. I saw it. Your new attack. <laughs> Do we have to, like. Oh, okay. Oh, we can duck. Oh, I did not duck. <laughs> I didn't duck in time. No. So, luckily, he's on a pedestal. He can be done. Yeah, yeah. That that would have been easy, but uh, I made that hard. <laughs> Sweet. So I'll revive you, and then we can check out what's different about this epic mimic. Yep, yep. Perfect. Compared to the... Oh, yeah, and you called it epic mimic. So, so these chests... I always called them tier three chests, like tier one, tier two, tier three. Sure. Do you yeah. have, like, a specific way you want to call them? Is it, like... Uh, common, and then something, and then epic. Tier's good. That's what everyone else has called them okay. internally in the in the in the project. They're called epic chest. Then you have small and medium. Oh, okay, gotcha. Huh. Wait. So then, why isn't it large? Small, medium, large. <laughs> no, it it is epic. I like the I like the epic because it, it is epic. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So yeah, these visuals Explain. first. It's more epic looking than large looking. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. True. Fair enough. <laughs> but uh. Yeah, you want to explain well, your new so feature here, you got here? Yeah. You get to pick, you know, instead of giving you a random weapon or dropping a resurrection potion, mm -hmm. give you the option of picking. And it, it's randomized, so this could be a long sword, this, these could be daggers, but they're all pretty good, pretty good rewards. So even like yeah. a lower tier player, they come across an epic, you know, tier three <laughs> mimic. Yeah. Then they'll get a good choice of, of select uh, weapons to choose from too. So, oh, right. I really need a, a crossbow or a, a bow, and I haven't gotten one in a while. This is enough way to kind of come. Awesome. More yeah. weapons. I love it. Um, I am all for uh, choices. And, like, we, we have so much randomization, yeah. which is awesome in this game. Yeah. But then that also kind of, like, we've got a lack of choice now. But with this... Now we have a little bit of choice in our dungeons. This is one of those can... features we put in. And we're like, ah, oh, why didn't we do this from like the start? This, or... and, and people are gonna want this everywhere <laughs> or something because <laughs> it is. It does. The choice is nice, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like you still get a random weapon, but you get to pick from these three options. So. Right, right. Yeah, well, no, I, mean, I love it. All feedback about it from from the players. So. Yep. Um, but yeah, now I I gotta figure out what I want. I guess the longbow. Yep. I'm a bow guy. I love the bow in this game. I don't know if I've told you, but I mean, basically everybody loves the bow. It's, it's hard not to. But yeah, yeah that that's like one favorite. of the things. Yeah, right. Because you, you rocked it twice in a row. But that's definitely one of the things that sold me on this game is the bow. And awesome. just like the mechanics. It's, oh my gosh, it's so good compared to those other games that like you can't, you can only go this far 
and like you sure. don't you don't have to take it out of the the holster. I mean, I know we don't actually have a holster, but it feels like we're taking it out of a holster to get that arrow. Yeah, and then yeah, there are a lot of for it. a lot of different implementation versions. This one, you know, we hooked up and it was it was simple, and we iterated on it for a while, and yeah, it and tried it with a lot of different people. Yeah. from all ages and sizes and we found I think a good medium for everyone um, speaking of there is that exploit I don't think we've pushed that update yet so in the next update right. someone found a little bug where you can quickly shoot arrows okay that's been fixed sweet sweet yeah looking good yeah and I guess uh, that kind of covers the the main things we got the spiders we got this thing um, well, not the spiders, the not spiders, uh, arachnophobia yeah, mode. Yeah, not spiders. <laughs> yeah, and then um, did we, I, I mean, you, you just mentioned that, uh, oh, oh, I, I went over the crossbow thing, the uh, aiming, aim assist, I guess, uh, the scope accuracy is a little bit better, tweaked a little bit. Um, Correct. And then, yeah, that bug fix with the bow. I guess they, there are a bunch of other little bug fixes. There's other that... little things. We up the damage on the bombs. There's there's right, a little there's a yep. list of small things that oh, the you know quality of life improvements for sure. Yeah, you said damage on the bombs. I thought it was, thought radi it was radi uh, explosion, explosion radius. radius. Is, is am I wrong? Is it damage? It could be the damage in the. It's it went from forty to seventy five. Okay. So I think it's just damage. Okay, has gone up. Gotcha. Gotcha. Cool. Awesome. Well, you ready to continue? Let's do it. All right. All right. Oh, that would have been sweet. I'm trying to explode this barrel by hitting an enemy into it. Oh, like late. that? <laughs> kind of, kind of. I wanted to knock him in with my greatsword. Yeah, no, I, I forget how satisfying it is to run lower lower tier dungeons, because... You just obliterate everything? Yeah, right. it's very yeah. satisfying. <laughs> yeah, it's like, the the most satisfying thing in this game is the finishing hit, and when yes. you can just finish hits with the first swing, it's, oh, it's so, so crisp, so clean. <laughs> Whoa, that was weird, okay. All right, you've got the This map. is another one of those long dungeons. It's yeah, the straight. Oh, Almost wait. looks like the, the other one we played. A lot of cave and mines here. Oh, oh this yeah. is a small room for a lock-in. Yeah. Oh, and actually, do, do we see more... Um, I guess do the rooms cater to the realms? Do the yes. Okay. Okay. So like, because we're seeing the mines, is that because uh, mines are just more probable in uh, the slime? Uh, what is this called? File halls. Correct. Okay. So I'll tell you in a minute. Yep. Yep. Gotta focus on killing stuff. The music's so loud. Yep. <laughs> there you go. Sweet. Okay. Cool. Well. Hopefully it's saved. I think it did. Awesome. Well, again, yeah, I, I appreciate you for doing this, and uh, I guess I'll wrap it up. Uh, I, I don't really know how to wrap it up. I usually just uh, just say see you, see you guys, and. Uh, that works. See you next time. Yes, yeah, I guess. We'll do some more of these. Exactly. See you next time because we will. Yeah, we'll we'll have some more. Um, and the next time, uh, it can be shorter. I mean, I know this was this was pretty long. We can have just like a single dungeon. We could do a save dungeon, like, and or we could just do like a simple showcase of a feature if it's an outpost, whatever it happens to be. Right. Um, but yeah, no, I think this is great that we got a lot of stuff to work off of and. Uh, post this video on I guess my YouTube channel and then potentially other other gate as well uh, with what we that see works. yeah I think we should definitely keep doing this I think hope the players enjoy it yeah 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 again uh, well Just I guess share. that's a good thing to mention um, to whoever's watching this 
let us know what you think. Um, if there's specific things that you want to see from Quaker X, from the developers, um, and or a way that I can help host it better or help get it to people better in some way, uh, yeah, definitely let us know. But aside from that, I guess I'll wrap up my recording too and uh, see you in the next one. See ya.